In the previous video, we have discussed what we expect to achieve with our algorithm. Now, let's explore what is a chess maze and how we can use it for our procedural generation algorithm. Now, if you have never played chess, it's a two-player game played on a checkerboard of size 8x8. What interests us is that the player uses pieces and that those pieces have different ways that they can move around the board. We are interested in a knight piece. Its moves are shown on the screen. We can see that it has a certain circular structure to its movement. We will place multiple of those pieces around our map, which is also a grid. If we place the knights randomly and add their spaces as the obstacles and their uh, possible movement spaces as the obstacles, it can create an organic looking landscape because there is some structure and some randomness to the placement of the obstacles. Let's see how the map will look like when we place our start point and end point and represented by purple and green spheres and a single knight with its possible movement spaces blocked by white cubes. The knight is depicted as the red cube. Now we can see that it doesn't look very natural, it has too much structure. But if we decide on placing multiple of those, the map looks much more interesting. Next step will be to use an A star algorithm to find path between our two points, our start point and our end point. And basically it will tell us if there indeed is a path between those two points. Sometimes the path will be blocked and we will need to create a repair method that will ensure that we will randomly delete some of the obstacles so we can achieve the path between those two points. Our end goal is to make this path between those two points as long as it can be and as natural looking as it can be. In the next video we will start implementing our algorithm into Unity.